All right, so here we go. We're going to start looking at a few of your homework problems. Remember, you do have a quiz tomorrow on um, one-step equations and two-step equations and uh, maybe some integer rules in there, but you have your regular integer rule quiz, uh, quiz number two, tomorrow as well. So there will be two quizzes tomorrow. Okay, um, remember our goal here in these is just to isolate your variable. Okay, make sure you do see up there it says show your steps. So you do need to show all of your work for each one of your problems. Okay, so I'm going to start, I'm going to do problem number um, one and four, and then I did five today in class. I will redo five just in case anybody missed that one. Okay, so problem number one, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this seven. And when I move that 7, it becomes negative, okay? So then what we've got here is we've got negative 8 minus 7 more. Remember, if I write that out, that's the problem most of y'all were missing today. So that's going to give me negative 15 equals 3m divided by 3, and m equals negative 5. Okay, it doesn't matter if your m's on the right or left. I just like to have my m on the, or my variable on the left. Okay, same thing here, number three, I'm going to move this 30. So that's going to become a negative 27 equals 9x, and then I'm going to divide by 9, and x is going to equal negative 3. All right, for problem number four, variables already on the left, so this time I'm going to be moving it over the number over to the right. So that gives me negative 7a equals 21. When you divide by negative 7, a would equal negative 3. All right, I did number 5 in class with you today, but I'm going to do that one again just in case somebody did not get that. Okay, you would move your 6. You would multiply by 3, okay, so that's going to give us 2x equals 54, and then your last step here is going to be to divide by 2, making x 27. Okay, so that only leaves you with problem number 2 and number 6 for you to try on your own. Make sure even if you're looking at this video that you are working through these problems first and then correcting or checking with my work, not that I am doing this for you. Okay, uh, 7 through 18, so the rest of your page are our exponent rules. Okay, I'm going to try to kind of just do one of each type maybe. All right, so 7, this is just a subtraction. That subtraction doesn't change anything right here. So we're going to say 4 minus 5, which gives us negative 1. Remember, I don't write my 1s. Um, so technically, it would be negative 1 m to the third or just negative m to the third. All right, problem number 8 is a power to a power problem. What that means is we're going to take this power and it's going to have to go to everything in here. So that's like 4 to the 3rd and then m to the 5 times 3. Okay, 4 to the 3rd means 4 times 4 times 4, or 16 times 4, which is 64, m to the 15th. Okay, number nine over here is just a multiply problem. Okay, so that's going to give me negative 12, and you add your exponents when you multiply. So that gave us eight. Okay, so so far I have done a an addition, I've done a power to a power, and I've done a multiplication. So the other one that I really need to make sure I, I work out would be a division problem. Okay, the division problem that I'm going to work out I did uh, problem number 15 with you in class today. That was the only other division one, so I will look right here at problem number 10. Okay, 36 divided by 4, that's going to give us our 9, and then we subtract 10 minus 2 gives us a 8. Okay, so number 11, just to kind of give you a heads up here, 11 is going to be your power to your power. Okay, 12 is going to be an addition problem, but pay close attention to problem number 12, please. All right, 13 here, we're going to have to do a power to a power on the right side first, but then it's going to turn into a multiplication problem after that. So there are two processes there. Okay, same thing here. You're going to start with a multiplication, and then you're going to have to go to an addition.
Okay, 15 would be multiplication. All right, this is division. And then at the end, it's going to be addition. 16 is very similar to one on the previous page. You're going to have to do power to a power with the multiplication. And then we're going to have the addition. 17 should just be our addition rules. 18 should be our multiplication followed by our addition. Remember two quizzes tomorrow.